What's up guys, this is David from How To Ghost, and today I'm gonna to take you through how to add Google Analytics to your ghost blog. So I'm gonna show you in two different ways. One is via code injection, and the other is via actually adding the code to your theme files. I'm gonna start with code injection because that's what most people do, and it's the easiest way. So if you haven't already, sign up for Google Analytics, and then create your first site. I'm not gonna walk you through that, it's pretty straightforward, they kinda of guide you through it. But once you are finished creating the site, you're gonna be on this page with your tracking ID and your tracking code. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and copy this code, head over to our ghost blog, log into the admin, and then click on code injection over here. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this in the header. So go ahead and paste the code you just copied into the header, save, and now we'll go ahead and refresh the blog that we have. So I have a little analytics plugin. It tells me that's working. One viewer, that's me. So we can see that the, the analytics is working just fine. So if you're using code injection, you're done. You have analytics across your whole site now. You're good to go. Now, if you wanna add it to your three theme files, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from code injection. If I refresh, you can see that analytics, it doesn't find anything now. So now to add it to your theme, go ahead and open up your theme file. We wanna use default.hbs because that's the file that's loaded everywhere because you want analytics on every page of your blog. So again, you wanna put this code in the header. So I'll go ahead and just put it right below these links. This is the default Casper theme. Uh, the, function, the formatting's messed up, that's okay. We'll save it, and now since we're editing our theme code, we have to stop Ghost, and then we have to restart Ghost. So Ghost is back up, refresh the home page, and then you can see Google Analytics is back working again. So there you have it, that's all you have to do to add Google Analytics to Ghost. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, we're gonna, we have an actual text post on this that we'll link in the description. And if you feel like subscribing, we're gonna come out with new videos every Wednesday. Uh, so we're going to keep the series going. And we also have a Ghost for Beginners ebook that goes over this kind of topic and a bunch of other topics if you're new to Ghost. So we'll have a link for that in the description as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next Wednesday.